Round one. Video games are a big business. Last year, the industry brought in an estimated $27 billion in revenue in North America. And Hollywood wants in on that. Don't press your luck. Movie studios successfully brought non-movie properties to the big screen for years. Anything from comic books. I never freeze. To action figures. My name is Optimus Prime. To even theme park rides. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. And with video games, a lot of the hard work is already done. They're visual. They have great characters, they're story-based, and they have loyal fans. A movie based on a hit video game should be a box office bullseye, right? If movies are graded on a scale of 1 to 10, video game movies only exist within that 1 to 5 scale? With a few exceptions, video game movies do poorly at the box office and disappoint the audience. They're used to interactivity and they're used to immersion. With a movie, gamers lose the control they're used to. Maybe that's why some of the most successful movies in this genre aren't based on actual video games. Take Edge of Tomorrow. Your very lives depend on it. The plot goes like this. The main character has a mission. He is killed, and he starts over from the beginning. Ah! He gets killed again, he starts again. And again, and again, and again. That movie where Tom Cruise is essentially playing a video game with his own life. You do know what's happening to me grows $370 million worldwide and has a 90% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The most effective way to make a video game adaptation would be to essentially make it an inspired by. You can take those fundamental elements and then blow a bigger story out just writing a good script. Like, make sure you're not fully abandoning the ethos of the, of the property you're adapting. <laughs> Despite all the challenges, film studios are still trying to tap into this market with a few different approaches. The new Tomb Raider film is a reboot of one of the most successful video game movies ever. It follows a more traditional route, adapting the story of a video game for the big screen. It will be an adventure. Rampage, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, is inspired by the classic arcade game, but it tells a new story, not directly ripped from the game. What's happening to my friend? Then there's Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One, where the lead character retreats into a video game world full of 80s pop culture references. It's about playing video games, but not really based on any particular one. I'm here talking to all of you now because our future is being threatened. I don't think one wins out over the other. It's just if one decides to commit to more cohesive and more in-depth storytelling. So if studios want a high score, they may need to invest in better filmmaking, not just big games.